What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I'm gonna show you how to set up Find My Mobile on your Galaxy device. This should work with Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, Note 8, S8, S8 Plus, all those phones. So what you wanna do first off is swipe down from the top and then what you wanna do is hit settings in the top right. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna go down to lock screen and security and work your way down until you see Find My Mobile. Tap that. Now that you're in Find My Mobile, you need a Samsung account in order to do this. So if you don't, there should be a button on here to sign up for an account. Uh, just sign up for one. Otherwise, you should already be signed in to your Samsung account. And then next, what you want to do is make sure remote controls allow your device to be controlled using your Samsung account via the internet. I have that turned on it's just in case you need to do things on your phone. Google location service needs to be turned on as well. It's gonna allow the Google location services to provide more accurate information about the location of your device. Last one is very important, send last location. This allows your phone to send its last location to the Find My Mobile server when the battery life falls below a certain level. So if your phone died, it's gonna send, before it dies, it's gonna send a uh, message to the server telling you uh, that you can, uh, where it is actually, so it'll give a last location on the map for you. So that now that we already have this all set up in terms of you know, all this stuff's turned on, what you wanna do now is you wanna go to the website address at the top there, the one that says findmymobile.samsung.com. I'll link that down below, and this is going to allow you to actually find your phone, so let's do that now. All right, so once you're at the website, it's gonna be again, findmymobile.samsung.com, click sign in, and when you click sign in, you're gonna input your uh, username and password for your Samsung account. And that's pretty much it. At that point, uh, you'll find your device on the left-hand side. Um, click on that device, the one that you want to find, and just click on that. Once you click on that, it automatically finds your phone or it shows you the last location that it was seen on a map. And it gives you obviously a general idea of where it possibly could be so you know it might not be spot spot on but at least show you where it is and then on the right over here you can do a lot of things you can do everything from clicking on you know ring and it will ring for one minute at its maximum volume even when the uh, sound mode is set to vibrate or mute so you can get that to work you can lock your phone and it says protect your phone using the following functions so you can lock it uh, in a number of ways you can erase the data all your data will be permanently erased so maybe you lost your phone but you don't want you know, people to get your data. You can also back up your phone. This is actually a pretty cool one. It's going to allow you to back up your phone, almost everything to the cloud. You know, maybe you haven't backed it up in a while. You can retrieve calls and messages. Uh, you can unlock your phone, unlock your phone remotely when you forgot your unlock method. If you use this function, all of your lock screen information uh, on your phone will be deleted. Tap unlock to enter your Samsung account password to confirm. Uh, you can also extend your battery life. Maybe your battery is dying and you still need to you know, grab your phone or something. You can turn the ultra or maximum power saving modes on. And then lastly, set a guardian. If you need to you know, set a guardian because you know your kid's phone is it's whatever it may be. If you just want to be able to control it, you can do that here as well. The other cool thing, if you see in the top right here, you can see that it shows the battery life of the phone. So it gives you that uh, knowledge of knowing where it is. And then also you can, in the top right, you can refresh uh, the status and the refreshing the status will you know, show the battery percentage now. It might even show you a different location for your phone. So it shows all of that stuff. So it's really informative and gives you a ton of information on your phone. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. Hopefully this video uh, showed you how to set up Find My Mobile if it wasn't set up or if it was set up, hopefully it allowed you how to uh, you know, find your phone if need be on your computer, guys. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.